One, two, three, four, five. Good. Is that the best part to introduce these guys? Nice. In this video, okay. Am I sweating in my face? I talked about how wine is made and it's mainly gonna be, oh, okay. Let's start again. Yeah, what was I saying again? For this wine, I, they, <laughs> I wanted to say this wine, they've added grape juice. For you to know a good quality sweet wine, if you taste it, you can still feel the flavors and the tannins other than just the sugar. I need to always slow my, I talk so fast. Like, share, and subscribe. Up to the next one, till the next one. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back for those who are new here. My name is Lona and I'm a wine enthusiast. And for those who are coming back, welcome. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about sweet wines and touch a bit on the difference between sweet wine and dry wine. As you can see, today we have three bottles of wine here and these are our sponsors for this video. The wine is called the Mea du Cap and it's from South Africa and it's a sweet wine so it relates to whatever we're going to talk about this video. In my previous video, if you've not watched it, I'm going to put the link here or in the link below, down below. I was talking about the difference between red, rosé and the white wine. In this one, I'm going to talk about the sugar levels of the wine. So there are very many techniques when it comes to making wine sweet and most winemakers, they add grape juice or fermented grape because it has concentrated sugars to make the wine sweet. Remember, when wine is made, the liquid is typically dry. So it depends with the level of sweetness of the winemaker, how they want to make it sweet. Another kind of technique is killing the yeast. During wine making, yeast is added to eat the sugars in the grape juice. I know it sounds a bit technical, but that's the layman's language when it comes to wine making. So apart from adding grape juice, some winemakers kill the yeast to stop the fermenting process so that the sugar, the residual sugar can be left in the wine to make it probably off dry or semi-sweet. So that's all about how sweet wine is made. For this particular wine, the Demea du Cap, the winemaker added grape juice to make it sweet. And for me to realize the, the quality of the sweet wine, I taste it and if the levels of tannin and the nose and the acidity is still on point and balances well with the sugar, that's how you know your sweet wine. Unlike substandard sweet wines where all you feel is grape juice and that's it for today guys and if you're wondering where you can get these wines i'll put the link down below where you can purchase it and till the next one don't forget to like share and subscribe bye